So in this short um, video, we're going to look at some uh, percentages. So, percentages. So a percentage is a fraction taken out of 100. So 5% is 5 out of 100. 50% would be 50 out of 100. Now these can also be um, converted to decimals. Now 5 out of 100 is 0.05 and 50% is 0.5. Sometimes if we put the 0 on, the 50% and the 5 sort of relate to each other and that shows why 5% is not 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is 50%, 5% is, 0 is 0 0.05. So how about 65%? Well, that would be 65 from 100, which would be 0.65. Now, how about something that's over 100%, say 120%? 120%, well, that's 120 over 100, which is 1.2. And cancel the noughts, 12 over 10. That's 10 goes into 12 once, and there's 2 over. Mm, okay, it's also handy to know that 10% is 0 0.125. And and so on. Now suppose we're asked, what is 10% of 500? Well, as 10% equals 0.1, which is one tenth, and we find ten. Ah. Now, a bit of excitement for you there. Put this back on. All right, I've just got this perched on a old um, champagne box, and uh, but that gave you a fright. Gave me one. We'll finish this off as we've pressed on with it. So we're up to uh, ten percent equals 0.1. It's one tenth. So one tenth of five hundred. So this is quite easy really because we simply take the naught off the end to get 50. Now had I asked you what is say 30% of 500, then because we know what 10% is, it's simply going to be 3 times that amount. 3 times 50, 150. And another um, thing that's worth knowing is what 5% equals. Because this could come up quite a bit. Now 5% is half of 10%. Now 10% was 50. So half of 50 is 25. So 5% of 500 is 25. So that's um, a run through on some fractions and decimals and percentages. Let's just do um, a few more then. So let's have a look at work out 45% of 800. Well, we'll start with 10%. 10% of 800 equals 80. So 40% will be 4 times 10%. 4 times 80. Now 4 eighths are 32. Put your naught on the end. Now the 5% is half of 10%, which was 80. So 5% is half of 80, which is 40. So we've got our 40%, we've got our 5%. So 45% will equal 320 plus 40, which is 360.